Good morning. Are there ups and downs even in God's service? Our reading today is at Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 11 to 18. I think you're going to agree there are. Here's the reading. There's really two segments here, starting at verse 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, awesome one. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble and will not prevail. They will be greatly ashamed, for they will not prosper. Their everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. But, O Lord of hosts, you who test the righteous and see the mind and heart, let me see your vengeance on them, for I have pleaded my cause before you. Sing to the Lord. Praise to the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the poor from the hand of evildoers. That's the triumphant part, but then there was the second part. Verse 14. Cursed be the day in which I was born. Let the day not be blessed in which my mother bore me. Let the man be cursed who brought news to my father, saying, A male child has been born to you, making him very glad. And let that man be like the cities which the Lord overthrew and did not relent. Let him hear the cry in the morning and the shouting at noon, because he did not kill me from the womb, that my mother might have been my grave, and her womb always enlarged with me. Why did I come forth from the womb to see labor and sorrow, that my days should be consumed with shame? So there's both the joyful, everything is going well, the kingdom is going good, delivered the message from heaven, people are responding, it's good outcomes. Yes, God is winning. There's those days, those days when we're joyful and we serve the Lord Jesus and we say, we can go to bed at night and say, oh, I used my energies for the kingdom and God was blessing, praised be his name. There's those days. Then there's also those days where you wonder, like, what in the world am I doing here? Nothing is working out. I can't see the results. Where's the fruit? Is God even using me? Who am I to say anything about God? I don't even have my my life in order. There's those kind of days when you feel like, well, Jeremiah felt like, why was I even born? Sometimes we have days maybe like that. So there are, in serving God, there are high days and there are low days. Sometimes there are very high days. Sometimes there are very low days. Jeremiah had some very low days in the mix. I mean, 99% of the time, the people hated his messages and would have preferred for him to stumble and fall and and be persecuted or even join in and persecuted. Serve the Lord. You're going to have days where you're feeling good and days when you're feeling bad. We don't want to go by feelings, but we are human. We do have some days that are better and some days that are worse in terms of how our feelings are. But you know what? God will be with us if we just lay hold of Jesus and cling on tight, take a deep breath, You can't see the whole picture. God can see the whole picture. He's using you. Don't doubt it. And don't worry about it. Just be faithful today. Tomorrow will take care of itself. It's another day. Let's be true to Jesus today as we serve him. That's what I would recommend for you this day. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, uh, we're not called to be super up and super down, but those days we know will come. They happen for Jeremiah. They happen for Elijah. Sometimes the angels had, as Jeremiah ran through the wilderness, the angels had to, you know, feed him with sandwiches to keep him going. Lord, we, we're we human too. So, Lord, we, we're just flesh. Remember that. Give us strength and encouragement, Lord, along the way. We want to be right. We want to serve you faithfully. Uh, remember that we're just dust. Remember to encourage us, Lord, and help us to always remember you see it all. We don't see it all. We can simply do what we need to do to be faithful and trusted to you. And and that's all we need to do. Lord, you are the one that gives success. It is your kingdom. Just help us to do whatever you'd have us to do. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Help us to trust you and not be tangled in our feelings. Lord, in Jesus' name, this is what we're asking for today. Amen. So we're going to laugh. We're going to weep. We're going to have awesome days. We're going to have days where we feel like It was a disastrous day for the kingdom. Jesus is still on his throne. God is still at work. Heaven is still his. And so go out there into your day today and remember that our parts are small parts. We don't need to see the whole thing. God will show you the way. And you have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus Christ.